look as good as they sound. Lovely. You took that song, you made it your own. It was great. It was very good. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the show. Do you know, I think I can say we've got something for everyone this week. <laughs> uh, on that very sofa tonight, top acting royalty star of Educating Rita, Harry Potter, Billy Elliot and Mamma Mia, Julie Walters is on the show! <laughs> I love Julie Walters! <laughs> top comic and sitcom star, Simon Amstel is here! <laughs> We've got music and chat from Star of the Voice, Jesse J is on the show! And wait for it, football superstar Didier Drogba will be popping by! Yeah? I know! You heard me correctly, Didier Drogba is on the show! Huh. You're surprised! No! It's another booking he's furious about! <laughs> Football humor. Now, uh, <laughs> just so I'm prepared, uh, I've spent all week learning about football. For example, I know that England have a new manager, Roy Hodgson. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he looks thrilled, doesn't he? <laughs> and so sporty. Uh, <laughs> when was the last time he ran? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's the face of a man who's just heard he's going to the Ukraine for the summer. Yeah. <laughs> the England side will be going to the Ukraine. They'll be gone for three weeks. Yeah. One week to get knocked out of the tournament and two weeks to get back through immigration Heathrow. <laughs> uh, now, I've also learned that tomorrow is the final of something called the Fuck Up. The Fuck Up? Oh, so the FA Cup. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, I thought that was weird. Uh, now, Didier's team, Chelsea, will be playing. I'm looking forward to seeing his expert ball control. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's got to hurt. Uh, that was uh, just after he'd been kicked in the testicles. Just better have a quick count up, make sure they're both there. Oh, there you go. Jesse, oh, Julie. Hello. There you go. Have a love in. Oh. 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 I'm loving to. I'm, obviously, I am thrilled for the first time ever. National treasure. Julie Walters is on my sofa. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's been so long. It has. It's so long since when? Uh, well, since I've started writing begging letters to you. You did. <laughs> yes. oh, yeah. Yeah. Coming up to you drunk at parties. <laughs> 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 I seriously have, haven't I? Yeah. You have. Only no. once you do. I don't really, I'm sorry. I apologise. No, I loved it. I love it more of that. OK, don't worry. I'll be drunk soon. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Simon Amstel, this is your first time as well, isn't it? Yeah, anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're newly made. <laughs> yeah, this will be all right, though, won't it? Yes. And, uh, Jesse J, welcome back to you. Thanks. Because you've been here, but, my God, I think the last time was it was it price tag you did? Yeah, it was my first TV show I ever did. And since then, mm. whoo! Like a rocket young lady. <laughs> um, 
And later on, you're going to be uh, performing the new single, Laser Lights. Yes. Very good. Yeah. But uh, we've got to talk. We've got to talk a bit about the voice. What's yeah. about the voice? Yes. Now, are you guys watching the voice? You yes. Know? I've said. Well, I didn't see last, the last one, but I, yes. Yes. Mm. Neither did her. You <laughs> didn't see it either. <laughs> I don't watch it back. Do you not? No. I get to see enough of Yourself. stuff on Twitter and people send me photos of myself and tell me what I was wearing and stuff. <laughs> like it wasn't me. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen it? I've been away, but I've seen the last episode. You don't oh. have to pretend. No, I do. <laughs> no. I mean, if I hadn't been sat next to you now, I, I wouldn't have seen it. Yeah. OK. But... <laughs> <laughs> having said that, though... Here we go. What, what have you got to say about it? <laughs> I haven't been near a pop star for a while. I'm quite excited. Uh, <laughs> um, when, so like, am I allowed to touch you? You can, yeah, go... Wait, any other bits? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe later. <laughs> this is very exciting. We're already having a bit of sex, well, aren't we? We are. <laughs> <laughs> well, we needed to relax, yeah. you know, yeah. before the show. Let it go. Oh, so. I obviously don't. Yeah. <laughs> um, that guy, that guy with the glasses, who was, he was voted off or whatever, they, they always say on these shows, oh, I just, you know, I just hope it's not the end. I feel somebody should say to them, it's definitely the end. <laughs> Oh. But Jesse, this week, are you going to be a bit meaner? Yes, I am. Because last week I felt there were some car yeah, crashes. Too, no, it was too nice. And everyone was too nice. Yeah, 100%. Like Matt and Suleen. <laughs> now, <laughs> Suleen, bless you. Like me and Gandalf. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, he, I think he looks like he's left 11 other wives at home. <laughs> Looks like he's the leader of a Texan cult, doesn't he? Yes. 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 Oh, I have 75 children. Uh, <laughs> but, assuming the harmony, I mean, the harmonies weren't. Right. I mean, and sometimes it's different in the studio. No, it, you know what? It, you're right. I don't think it's very tough because I'm a very. I like having constructive criticism all the time. Like, yeah. I'll always come off stage, or tonight I'll perform and I'll, I'll come off stage and I think, right, what could I have done better? And it does get to a point where everyone is a bit too nice because you haven't made it. And you shouldn't ever feel like you've made it. You should always be growing and learning. And sometimes it is hard when, you know, Will and Tom and Danny are always very complimentary. And then I'm like, yeah, that was crap. Like, I can't... I don't say that, but... No, but you can say that. I mean, it's, it is a, it's a huge stage and yeah, it's live. It's I mean, it's not surprising that people drop the ball a bit. Yeah, I mean... So have you got someone who will say, no, that wasn't, that wasn't up to par tonight? The, no, I mean, one? it did get a bit emotional. Like, I don't know if anyone saw the results show. And it was like, everyone was in tears and... It really pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that people, that people like watching about you is you'd be a very bad poker player because your face oh, no. gives, gives away, an awful yeah. lot away. And uh, a fan, a fan of yours, has filmed... Is it a fan or is it someone that makes me want to look silly? Well, it's a fan who wants <laughs> to make you look silly. Well, maybe... I think the fan didn't know you were going to look silly. They, they were filming you on a phone off right. the telly and then they slowed it down <laughs> and put it on YouTube. Oh, no. Oh, no, it is funny. What is it? Well, I think it's funny. If it was me, maybe I wouldn't think it was funny. <laughs> so, uh, Where, have you got it? I've got it. Of course he's got it. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be on repeat for the next 20 minutes. That's oh, it. Uh, this is the end of this, the show. This, this is you. You know that thing when you do that thing Oh, off? no. It's slow. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Voice, there is a serious point to be made yeah. in that people are judged by how they look. And mm, and did, is that something? Did you encounter that when oh, you were? Oh, of course, yeah. In a good I, way or a bad way? Well, both. I mean, even now, people meet me and go, I really thought you were going to be quite aggressive. <laughs> I'm not at all. I'm like, I think people think I'm going to be quite. Because they do it like a dude and. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like, they, they get disappointed when I haven't got like crystals on my mouth. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, she's not in a leotard. Like, <laughs> I'm not naked all the time. But, um, <laughs> And fame is an odd thing, because, Julie, do you feel pressure? Because, obviously, when you're walking down the street, people know who you are. You know people are looking at you. Mm. Do you feel a pressure to, you know, I don't know, brush well, your hair? Well, it changes a bit when... How dare you? What no, no, it's lovely! It's so gorgeous! <laughs> well, uh, um, yeah, well, I'm 62 now, so it's a bit different from when you're no. young. No! I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> 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 
That was very good. Yeah. Um, yeah. After I did, um, I was 60. After I did Mo Molum, and I, and so I shaved my hair off for the part. Well, that was a bit of an experience in itself, <laughs> in that I looked like all of my mother's male relatives. <laughs> <laughs> quite as attractive. And, um, I thought, this is a chance to grow my hair back properly, because I'd always dyed it all my life. Like my mother, she dyed her till she died at 70 with blue-black hair. She was 70. She said, doesn't it look natural? <laughs> so, you know, so I'd always done that, and I thought, I, I must see what it's like underneath. I knew I had sort of roots, you know. <laughs> there were some white roots, I could see them and everything. Anyway, so I grew it through, and I thought, I think I'm going to wait now I'm 60. I'm, uh, and I thought, yeah, I quite like it. I'm going to keep it. There's something empowering about it. And I thought, right, now I'm 60. I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to work for a bit. I decided... I, and I was at the rap party for Harry Potter. And I happened to say... People saying, what are you doing? <laughs> so I said, you was at a rap party? <laughs> oh, no, not that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <geez>. What? What? <laughs> it wasn't that sort of <laughs> 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 Snoop Dogg. Yeah, I like the film too. Hang on. <laughs> and it, so, I just happened to mention at this do that I thought of, you know, not doing anything for a bit, I just wanted to see what it was like. So, something about being 60 meant something. Yeah. So, anyway, the next thing, the papers are ringing up the agent and asking, oh, we hear that she is retiring, and the agent said, you know, there's been a bit of... Thing. And then the next thing it was in the Daily Telegraph, a little section that I was retiring. I thought, for God's sake, I never said it at all to anyone. What? And then, yeah, no. Making up stuff in the paper. I know. <laughs> I'm <a> murder. <laughs> anyway, the next thing, there's a knock at the back door. I live miles from anywhere, down a two mile old, on beaten up old track. Next thing, there's a knock at the door, the back door. And we've got a great cleaner, Jackie. She goes to the door and there's a young lad there who looks about 12, and he said, I'm from the Daily Mail. And she went, yes. <laughs> and he said, uh, I hear you're retiring. <laughs> to the cleaner. And she said, well, it's a bit hard on the knees, but I'm not thinking of giving up any time, yes. <laughs> and do you know, Graham, that's just what I think of life. A bit hard on the knees, <laughs> but I'm not thinking of giving up just yet. Do you see? <laughs> so, oh, oh, very sweet. Okay. And Simon, you must get recognised a lot now because, you know, television. Yeah, OK. <laughs> well, um, there was a sort of, um, a few years ago, quite a few years ago, I was at a sexual health clinic. Stop. Lovely. Um, everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I touched him! <laughs> <laughs> I'm at this sexual health clinic, which is a good thing to do, a healthy good thing to do. Of course. Do. And I'm, you know, I'm sort of <laughs> quite naked. My penis is out. <laughs> and the uh, nurse says to me, so what's Daniel Beddingfield like? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know he's lovely, but is this supposed to be this colour is the main point. <laughs> oh, my God. I had one of those. You well, had one? No, not, not a sexual... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm just not going to get involved, I'm just going to... Didn't mean to butt in there. No. But, but I had one of those where I, I went to have a Dutch cap fitted. Can I tell this? Yes, of course you It's a contraceptive device. Oh, I see. So, this is weird. Like a rubber thing. I like, love it. It's like a flying saucer. So, so, it, it, you just have to catch it, actually. It's like a quaver. It's like a... It's a... What? Is it a what? Is it, is it like a quaver? It is a... Li... Well, it's a little bit like a... It's a little bit. <laughs> Dome shaped yes, rubber. You, you... Stop Lovely. that, Graham, please. <laughs> yes. Well, it is a bit like that. I was in that position. Oh, oh, terrible. I'm sorry, don't show that. That's all. I was 62. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> So live. I know, so live. I'm glad you noticed that. So, so in that position, uh, the nurse did say, I know you don't type. Anyway, I think I'd throw that in. 